morning everyone it's thursday the uh 11th and this is your video number 667 <clears throat> and since it's thursday it's claims day okay so uh, this is kind of interesting uh, because it gives a little bit more color. Initial claims were down 42,000 to a still very high 712,000. So things are getting better, but in a very slow manner. And uh, continuing claims, 4,144,000 versus 4,337,000. But here's the issue. Um, the separate... PUA, Pandemic uh, Unemployment uh, Support, uh, which uh, is also just renewed, shows a jump since February 20th from 18 million to 20 million. And that is generally either people whose unemployment has run out or gig workers who have not been able to get back to work, who may not be getting unemployment, but are getting pandemic relief. So still 20 million there, even though uh, initial claims is only 712. Market doesn't care, uh, was up about 100 before that, is still up about 100. So, uh, let's see. We have Asia and Europe both slightly higher, and the news out of the ECB, uh, Christine Lagarde, is saying that they may increase bond purchases and speed them up because, they, uh, because the unabated rise in uh, the Bund rate and other rates involved, but the Bund primarily, uh, that those kind of rate hikes may actually let the uh, countries, the ECB countries, uh, need to tighten prematurely. So rather than tighten prematurely and choke it off, they're just going to double down on it and continue to increase those bond buys as well as speed up their velocity. So, you know, more kicking it down the road. Uh, stimulus package, obviously, everybody knows by now has passed. It's supposed to be signed tomorrow. Uh, I heard one of my favorite DJs this morning as I was sitting in line at Duncan's say uh, something to the effect of uh, it only takes a minute to sign it. You know, you get up in the morning and you uh, brush your teeth and you go to the office, you sign it, and then you go on with your day, which, you know, I have a great deal of empathy for. Uh, Boeing and LUV talking about an order for, uh, looks like about 25 737 maxes. Uh, that actually was out yesterday, but they were printing it again this morning. And so I thought I'd mention it again. Um, also in the airlines, American Airlines even though they're getting more money out of this package and have gotten uh, tens of billions of dollars already, is doing a $10 billion bond deal, which they increased. Um, you know, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. They are holding these companies together on nothing more than the fact that money doesn't really cost them anything. Um, <clears throat> they've also, you know, increased dilution uh, by issuing shares, and uh, I just don't see it. But that's just me. Uh, Oracle beat yesterday top and bottom, but had uh, generally soft commentary on the growth of their uh, cloud. Uh, GlaxoSmithKline and uh, VIR, their antibody uh, treatment shows an 85% drop in hospitalization. 
no word on any side effects or anything, but uh, nonetheless, 85% is damn impressive. Uh, Roche said that their drug plus remdesivir really doesn't improve people's uh, uh, ability to fight off uh, the virus. Uh, Bumble, first report since they were public. Uh, stock closed 62.91 yesterday. The numbers look great. Um, and the stock is roughly $69, so up about 10%. And uh, Roblox, RBLX, a direct listing yesterday uh, that did, you know, really well. The reference price was 44 and uh, the stock actually opened at 64.75, had a brief sell-off to 60 and a half and uh, ran up to almost 75, finished the day uh, 69.19, up 24.19. Uh, ARC bought 500,000 shares of it, one of their funds, and uh, that was put out either late last night or this morning, and this morning we have it up another $6 to another new high over 75. Uh, that's about it as far as that goes. A uh, chart on the screen is the oil, and as you can see, it's higher again. Uh, looks like it's, you know, maybe not completed it, but defined uh, its range between 63 and let's just call it 65. Um, and uh, it looks like it's, you know, headed higher yet again. Here's a little better look. Uh, it's basically been riding this five-day moving average. It bounced off uh, the 20-day as it did here and here and here and here. Um, you know, the other, the 50, uh, 100, and 200 days are all pointed up. Um, I don't know, you know, what the deal is going to be here, how far this is going to go, but the drawdown yesterday was really gigantic. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say that uh, with the price of oil where it is, uh, that probably the only solid play, and they're a little extended also, but the only really solid play here would probably be uh, the distillates, and so uh, my guess is you go with a refiner. Um, in particular, I have always liked Valero because they have the most flexibility as to what it is that uh, they want to produce. They can produce just about anything. Uh, so wherever the demand is greatest, I'm assuming that's where they go. So oil up a dollar two, uh, net gas down about a dollar, uh, a penny and a half. Uh, the gold is higher again, uh, 17.2750. That's up about five bucks. And while the chart is not overwhelming, uh, it is coming off oversold and a pretty big bounce. I'll take you to the weekly so you can get a little better perspective. Uh, you know, we're back into this area of support. And uh, even though the uh, five went through the 20 and the 50, <clears throat> excuse me, we are coming up to the 100 week MA. Uh, and, you know, this is, a, you know, it, it doesn't have to hit it to be a test. All it has to do is approach it. And if it turns higher, uh, that's great. If we go through this uh, 1758-175740, uh, I'm going to guess that we go back up here to 1835 to 1850. Uh, Bitcoin yesterday made another new closing high. I mentioned it last night. Uh, this morning it was both down and up. It was up last night, uh, was down this morning when I got up. Uh, but as you can see, uh, you know, we're pushing higher. This is on the weekly and the high was 
790. We beat that yesterday by $25. And so far, that's pretty much uh, where we are. I'll go back to the uh, daily. And as you can see, it's an inside day so far. Uh, probably won't stay that way, but it did come down to the round number 55,000 again, actually 54,685, and is now up on the day on the high of the day. And as I said, yesterday's high was uh, 57,815. We go through that. I don't see how they stop it before between 68 and 70,000. All right, everyone, have a good morning. Be careful out there. Uh, we're doing dramatically better on a couple of our trades. We didn't get uh, our calls. Actually, a couple of people did get back to me. And unbelievable as it seems, uh, somebody who does business at Robinhood actually texted me and called uh, yesterday because he got filled at 66. Uh, nobody else did, or only a few people did, so it's not on the ledger, but uh, uh, that is higher, as is FLOR, F-L-R, our um, infrastructure play. Uh, we paid 1784 for the stock. It's just over 20. Uh, we paid 70 cents for the 20 calls. I believe they closed yesterday at 80 cents. And after sitting with them down almost 50%, right on the edge there, uh, they have turned back up. So I'm pretty impressed with that. All right, everyone, be careful out there. I'll be back later.